Hello everyone, Andy Skugman along with Dr. Paul Nystrom. He is an emergency room doctor at HCMC as well as a Plymouth police officer. Dr. Nystrom has developed an exclusive training for our association. It's entitled Strength and Resiliency, a Tactical Approach to Wellness. And doctor, you'll teach several things in this course, stress management, nutrition, fitness, but you also touch on something that you call community. What does that mean and why is that important to a cop? Um, it, it, a lot of it's based on Kevin Gil Martin stuff, and he talks about having friends that are not cops um, and, and being plugged in with a community somewhere, whether it's a faith community or uh, just other friends that aren't cops or your family. Um, it's also something that's really important to health um, in terms of if you've heard of the blue zones. Um, uh, the research done in the blue zones indicates that, that some of the big pieces are community and again, family engagement, social engagement. Um, so it, it's overall very important to a cop's health. Um, the other piece of that that we'll talk about a little bit is that it doesn't, social media is not the same as community. We very much get tied into Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and people liking your post or you posting something and that's not real community. Real community happens face to face and in person. Um, and and getting, getting your feed and feeling like you're connecting with people in social media is not real connection. That's not real community. In this three-part series that you've developed for the association, you'll also talk about maintaining mental well-being. You have several tips, but can you give us one today that's really important? Uh, one simple one is just, uh, it sounds kind of goofy, but an attitude of gratitude. Um, and I didn't make this up. I've read it other places, but just being thankful for what we have. Um, it's easy to get caught up in the things that aren't going well. Some, you know, whatever it is, the, the car won't start, the water heater broke, the kids are fighting, whatever, you're late for something. But we have a pretty good life. Overall, most of the guys out there, most of the guys and gals, most of the cops out there have a pretty good life. They have a family, they have a paying job, they have a hot roof over their head. We have a pretty good life overall. And to be grateful for even the small things that you come across can really help. I'm grateful for your time. Thanks for what you've done for the association so far, and uh, we look forward to your training in January. All right. Thank you. I look forward to it as well. For more on Dr. Nystrom's training series, which, as I mentioned, gets underway in January, go to our website at mnchiefs.org.